A cool day across the region. Boy, here's a time lapse review of the weather throughout this day. And uh, we can just not shake those clouds. They tried to break up. You can see a couple of holes right there, a few bright spots. But overall, gray skies with the east and northeasterly breezes. And overall, it looks like we're going to hold on to lots of clouds as we move through the evening, through the overnight, and even to start tomorrow. Now, you go north and northwest of Louisville, there's been a pretty decent dose of sunshine throughout the course of this Tuesday afternoon. It's nice around Paoli. It's nice up around Bedford in Indiana. Unfortunately, that drier air really isn't punching off to the south and southeast. So what you see is what we're going to get. Yeah, a few breaks are possible, but certainly continued cool conditions. 67, the afternoon high. Better than yesterday, right? Look at the average high, 82, a morning start of 57. Outside right now, cloudy skies, of course, and the numbers are still cool. Mid to upper 60s across the board, specifically 65 to 67, the range. Humidity is 66 percent, and that northeast breeze in here at 10 miles an hour. Hey, at least the radar scopes are on the clear side. We don't have to worry about any rain drops. A false, a uh, couple of false echoes, that is, around uh, the metro. Aside from that, it is clear, it is dry, and it's going to stay that way as far as any rain is concerned tonight and also into tomorrow. The numbers exceedingly cool for the time of year. Not only close to home, but a fair chunk of the Ohio Valley. Seeing the temperatures in the 60s. St. Louis starting to warm up somewhat back into the middle 70s. There are plenty of 80s the farther west you go. And those 80s, by the way, are on the move. You can see all the clouds continuing to cover the region. Again, there it is. You go north and northwest of that little blue line. That's where we've seen some sunshine by late today. Otherwise, uh, with a northeasterly breeze, we're going to hold on to quite a bit of moisture in the low layers of the atmosphere. That'll keep things mainly cloudy. And on the cool side, again, those temperatures will fall back into the middle and upper 50s all across the region. Expecting 59 late tonight into tomorrow morning as you kick off your Wednesday. Now, let's talk about Wednesday because if we pull out and take a look at a good chunk of the nation. Things are still unsettled across the eastern one-third, all the clouds around here, and how about the severe weather watches being issued across the northern plains with yet another cold front working in from the north. Our cloudy weather caused by an upper-level low that's weakening, but still close enough to the region it's turning around and around, and all that cold air aloft is causing these clouds to continue to form and be trapped. Well, here's what's going to happen. That low is going to get a kick off to the east. And as a result for tomorrow, here comes some sunshine building in, especially for the afternoon. We'll see temperatures back in the upper 70s to near 80 by mid to late day. And well into the 80s as we push into Thursday, Friday, and also beyond into the weekend as well. So here's the forecast in detail. It's going to be another cool evening. Don't get me wrong, lots of clouds as well. We'll be hovering in the 60s. By 10 o'clock tonight, holding on to mainly cloudy conditions and 63. Again, you go northwest of Louisville in the southern Indiana, more in the way of partly cloudy conditions and even some stars later on tonight. All right, by the time you wake up in the morning, a cool 59, a little cooler in outlying regions. By midday, a mix of clouds and sun, quite pleasant temperatures around 70. And on your seven day forecast, readings will top out around 78 tomorrow afternoon. Vicky, then the 80s take over and an extended stay as well as we're into the middle 80s, Thursday, Friday through the weekend. There will be another shower and storm chance Friday night into Saturday morning. Again, late Sunday night into Monday. Aside from that, plenty of dry time and we'll start to warm up. So, you know what? Yeah, next couple of days, that warmth is coming over the past few days. At least the ACs have been. That's right. Held in check, so the energy bills are a little lower. It's not costing I'm us trying money. to find You can anything. save that the money you're saving there. You put on vacation, right? There you go. See? Yeah. Glass is warm half up, full and we can see that. Here. That's all right. There you go. Thanks, Jay. <laughs>